Hello friends, happy Friday. How we doing? Hades 2. Bisexuals are real once again. I can't believe we forgot about them, but they're back. Hello, <laughs> it's me, I'm bisexual. Um, hello. Hello everyone. How we doing? We are confirmed you're real. It's true. I, I exist again. Wow. Hello, friends. Pink. Yes. Very pink. Um, I can't believe Hannah is in Hades too. Um, yes. Yes, I am. Apollo has been manifested. So he's no longer in my brain. Um, Apollo will no longer impact this stream ever again because he's he's in a video game now and his voice actor is freaking alfie from uh final fantasy 14 which is just so beautiful i just am so i'm very happy about this news um yes i am in hideous 2 as all of the servants yes yes i'm one of the npcs in the background um hello everyone how's it going hello his spa thank you real estate much please smack dab in the heart of tokyo thank you um thank you so much for the brand new uh prime i love this game i am freaking loving it too i'm not gonna lie it is <laughs> i hope that was a good description Thank you so much. You are now a brand new loopy. If you are new here, we do this thing every Christmas. If you can see all the loopies behind me and here, um, we every sub, every gifter, every sub gifter, and every sub gift gets a loopy on the tree. So you are officially a loopy, and I actually need to catch up on other loopies as well. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I started thinking about Nagato and then I got a little confused about whatever I was previously saying. I think I was saying hello to people. Hello. <laughs> I'm so impressed with how well your community is behaving in the presence of this game. You won't hear much from me because I uh, can't be the one to ruin it. <laughs> well, thank you. That's uh, uh, that's incredibly sweet um, that people have been praising the community and not um, and them not being a little toxic because um yes some fandoms have a reputation uh i don't really know much about danganronpas to be fair but um so far no spoilers no nothing um it's been going good well it's absolutely dead today i can't wait to clock out oh i hope it i hope it goes fast now he's been wanting hajime to feed him it's i i have just been thinking about it I've just been thinking about it. I've just been, I've just, I've just, their voices together are just, you know, you know, you wow, it's fine. Oh, speaking of little tricksters, we got this OST. You made it in life. You are a loopy. <laughs> you have become as loopy. Um, yes, it is the goal. Now is the time to bully Smitch into ignoring their backlog of games to play Hades. To be fair, I don't even know if it's a backlog. I think it's just Genshin. I think it's just Genshin. I'm so glad people think that Hajime feeding Nagito like a baby bird is wholesome. Yeah, it was a super wholesome scene. That's exactly the vibes I got from the scene. It was very sweet and caring and um, wholesome for sure Can't stick around to avoid dongan road but two spoilers but i loved your p4 playthrough thank you it was great watching you enjoy one of my favorite games bitches and all bitches and all the bitches with the best part thank you so freaking much Krios for the 16 months thank you yes avoid all of the spoilers um i loved persona 4 so much i i have been in a fan fiction whole it's been great um <laughs> thank you so much bitches and all can we talk about how good the voice acting in hades is can't wait for more me too alfie i literally uh, the other voice actors are, are very cool i'm just very i'm very head empty over alfie uh being apollo i don't know that's i just am very happy about this imagine hades but in space no 
No space games. I'm done with space. I'm done. Um. Oh yeah, the Hades characters are way hotter. I, I think a lot of the Genshin characters are hot, but nah, it's not even a competition to be honest. Although, I think stuff can add to the Genshin ones, to be fair. Okay, I'm almost done. Did you know that you're in space right now? What? Say it ain't true. Take it back. Um, I love Alfie's VA so much. Same, that's why I'm so excited. I'm so excited because he just has such a good voice. Like he has such a genuinely wonderful like voice. I, I don't know. It's just so nice. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anonymous. I don't know if I've seen that little heart thing before, but it's very cute. Thank you. Thank you for gifting that sub anonymously, whomever you are. New Loopy. Thank you so much. Um, that's very, very kind. I appreciate it. Attention, dimension. Um, hi, Sarah, how's it going? I know, and there's a dog in Final Fantasy 16, and Final Fantasy 16 looks really cool. And it took three hours for us to see it, but you know what, it was worth it. <sighs> it took so long. I'm super stoked about the Bayonetta prequel. I've never played Bayonetta and I know nothing about Bayonetta and every single piece of information I get about Bayonetta makes me more confused about Bayonetta. But one day I'll play it and I'll understand. I also two seconds of P5 footage. I, I did scream when Ryuji and Yusuke did a little, did that fist pump. And then there was the P3 pro tag for a second. Thank you, Sarah. Banner 3 didn't exist, so I would have been excited, but that's just me. Oh, oh no, no, no. I have not heard the best things about Banner 3, to be fair, but we'll see. I'll see. Hi, Pedralito. It was an experience. <laughs> nice. Boom. We're caught up. We will never speak of Bayo 3 again. Okay, so basically I'm going to play Bayo 1 and 2 and then I can't believe the third game never came out ever again. Yeah. Um. <sighs> no, there is something about the trailers. I have to say, like, I don't know what the general opinion is. But there are some trailers I I don't I think I just don't really understand the hype around trailers until there's like significant stuff to show because like even a space game which I'm not very interested in like space games but it could interest me but it just sounds like so many trailers are like 10 seconds of footage that isn't going to be in the game and like very similar sounding music and very similar sounding voiceovers and they just don't stand out at all because they're showing themselves too early, in my opinion. Um, so then I just am so uninterested and I don't remember it. And I'm like, great, okay, moving on. Hello, Pinky. I hate that here's a trailer to announce that we signed a piece of paper saying it exists. Yeah, I just like, like there was one, I don't even remember what it was called. Um, immortal or something and I was just like what you didn't show anything <laughs> like I just don't like it just is the same colors of explosions and like purple and it's the same soundtrack and it's the same voiceover and I, it's I just why it all just blurs that is the name so true Hi Mel, how are you? Much respect for staying up till 5am your time. 
And then I couldn't sleep for like three hours. It was miserable. Oh my god. Um, I stayed up purely for the Final Fantasy trailer. And <laughs> then I couldn't sleep after I had like finished editing and everything. Last night was a blur. The, we had a Game Awards chat in Discord and I think we were all going actually insane. It was hilarious. It was... Stop talking about the death of Sonic. <laughs> um, what is your journey like game? I don't know. Sorry. Um, we talked about a Final Fantasy trailer. We're just talking about the Game Awards in general. Did the diagram change any? The diagram is as it always was. I don't know if you mean if you know the rankings. This is the current rankings. Also, we do need to update it. There we go. That's the rankings right now. Um, my fave was Hades too. Yes. Kirby won really. I love that Kirby won family friendly game. And then in the acceptance speech, they were like, all we needed was mouthful mode. That was, that was beautiful. Um, I am so hyped about Hades too. Like the whole plot is just like, yes. And the, and, uh, who she is is just yes and apollo and nemesis and yes and i like what they're saying with like chronos and time and and yes did you know hades is the best wow and they're like such a cool team like a, the no clip documentary on them it's just ah ah am i need to play hades one yes it's so good I was bad at it. Honestly, I'm not very good at Hades either. I just do it for all the character interactions. <laughs> when the announcer guy was announcing the results of the Genshin vs Sonic category and he said the winner was decided after they made the bot votes, I literally heard the Vine Boomer sound effect in my head. Uh, indeed. To be honest, Apollo is never good news in Greek lore. But he's voiced by Alfie in Final Fantasy XIV, so I accept it. I have no clue if Hades has different difficulties. I assume so, but I don't know. I'm writing a time travel fic right now on Kronos and the other time gods involved, so the plot made me go... True! That's so cool, though. That sounds like a really cool fic. That sounds very rad. Um, and we were waiting for some of the gods that were missing in one, so it's cool to see them. Yes! And like, uh, they still have more they could do if they wanted to. Um, just judging by like how they chose this protagonist, if they wanted to do a third one, then they have a very easy, suitable third option. Lisa, that's so cute. They honestly seem like such a nice team. Like the, the no clip documentary on them is so lovely. Uh, I really recommend it. I am desperate, please. Second half me stupid hype, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit. No, no embarrassment. I know, I really hope that means Artemis is like gonna return. I assume we're gonna have like similar or the same gods plus new gods. Cause like having Apollo and Artemis, it's just, it's just, yes. Yes. Um, Hades is a game that rewards you even if you die. That's true. It does get like easier and easier the more you do. But then again, I've never been in the game, so. Uh, but I also just get very distracted. I genuinely only play the game for like, setting characters up. I had just finished the song of Achilles. I need, I, I wasn't, I was, 
I was in a mental state where I'd, my my mind was not on finishing the game. My mind was purely on Achilles and Patroclus, and that was that was it. It was a time. Should I mute? Uh, no, I think you're good. Hello, I just saw you on my recommended. I want to see you look super cute. Thank you. That's very sweet. Your username is a treat, I have to say. Um, is that a fun job? It's the gay pining. It, it, it just is. Characters that look um, like other characters with no explanation intrigues me. So that was the other thing in the trailer that caught my eye. Oh, do you know the reason why? Because there is a reason. It took me 44 runs of Hades to finish the story of Achilles and Patroclus, but it was so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> is that a fun job? Just curious. Um, love the game. I wish you good deductions. Thank you so much. I will be so I will be so deductive today. I will. Uh, it's beginning of the investigation time. It is. It is time. Um, I feel like there's obvious suspect. <laughs> I was going to say suspects, but honestly, it's only one. Um, but whenever it's obvious, I'm like, it's not obvious. And then I get sus. <sighs> About how I got here, YouTube just loved me with one of your VODs with the mathematic confidence that I love it. <laughs> which, which one was it? <gasps> Thank you! Was it Nagito? He made my brain die. Thank you! Thank you so, so, so much, uh, Lady Suzumi, for the gift sub to Lisa. That is so, so nice of you. Lisa, I hope you enjoy all of those emotes. I hope you love them. And you, you, are, you are both loopied. Thank you. It's so fun. It's freaking. it is very fun. It's freaking long, um, which isn't a complaint by any means. Um, Cause I was gonna put it on the hardest difficulty just to get more questions because I think it's fun. I, and I'm kind of glad I didn't just because of the time it would take. Like, I think I did like a five plus hour stream purely on the class trial. Finally, I can partake. You have all of the emotes. They're all yours. <laughs> Thank you for one. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Hi, Ellery. What's up? The improved. I actually really like the Hangman's Gambit, but I don't know what it's like on the hardest difficulty. Is Mahiro under the table? Well, it really depends what you consider a table. Um, that's probably the first step. Yeah, loopies are crazy. We got so many loops going on. Loops, loops everywhere. Is a roof a table? Well, how do you define a table? Something you eat off? Something... Something that looks like something? Like, how do you say it? Like, how do you define it? Improved Hangouts is hated on. I I like it, to be honest. I think that, like, as with all Danganronpa tutorials, it's bad. <laughs> like, it's a bad tutorial. But uh, I really like the, the Hangman's Gambit. I prefer it to the old one. <laughs> Table on the meat bone. <laughs> I finished Fire Emblem Three Houses yesterday so I can go back and watch your VODs. I had so many tears, all happy and sad, and just all of the feels. Which route did you do? Got any theory? Um, I think Hyoko is the only obvious suspect, but I don't think she did it right now. 
I think it's too obvious. I think she actually did like Mihiru. And I need to go over some stuff in the rule book. Um, I want to double check something. I'm playing the final chapter of Yakuza 0 right now. Oh my gosh, I think I've decided when I'm going to play Yakuza. I think I've got like the games planned out f until March in my brain. Kind of depends how some long some things take. But my plan is Danganronpa 2, then Amori, then Black Eagles, then Final Fantasy 6, then, depending on the time, I think I want to play Yakuza 0 for my birthday. I think I want... I think I want that to be my birthday video game. So, I think I'm going to try to play that around March. May I ask what music this is? Final Fantasy XIV. The stacked lineup. Hi, Noxy. Never late. Perfectly on time. I'm going to start Amori in a couple days so I can be done. Um, it's Majima. I don't know who that is. I assume a Yakuza character. I don't know. <laughs> um, yes. We need our detective buddy. I know. I need to unchain him. <laughs> then shut up when Edo God showed up. I think I just, I genuinely think the Fire Emblem main characters look bad. <laughs> and I'm sad that like Edo God and Dimitri are paid, but <laughs> you never know. Only the best. Beautiful. Are you prepared? Never. Are you going for the six pixel remaster? Probably. Yes. Um, I think that will be the easiest to play. Um, so I think I'm going to do the remaster. Uh, but I'm really excited for 6 because uh, I fought a boss in in Final Fantasy 14. And then I was told of where he originates and I was like... Wow. You don't like Pepsi and toothpaste? I don't. <laughs> Not even at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a little clown guy. Just a little, just a little, just a little dude. I'm sure I'll be reasonable about him. Wait, are there three houses characters? Uh, yeah, there's paid DLC to get Dimitri, Edelgard, and Claude. Is his name Claude? His name is Claude, right? You know when you just don't, like, when a word suddenly doesn't sound right anymore? Yeah, okay, good. I was like, it's called a name? Have I just made this up? <sighs> okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's paid DLC, yeah. Um... Don't worry, when you play Yakuza, you will discover the awesomeness. I can't wait. I wish to know so- I know nothing about Yakuza, so I'm very excited. It'd be fine if one had red hair and one had blue hair. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. And all the reds and blues are different shades of red and blue. Like they're not, like the outfits are a different red to their eyes, which are a different red to their hair, which is a different, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. There's nothing cohesive about the character design. It's fine. Um, I need to look up words and fact check. I'm using them correctly all the time, same. So same. I was just like, I said Claude, and I was like, is that a real name? That doesn't sound right. As if Edelgard <laughs> sounds perfect. <laughs> it hurts my eyes. It's not very aesthetic to look at. And they're too saturated. I think if they were desaturated, that would also help. I don't know. I've got a lot to say about the characters. I don't think they sound good. You could say any name sound and probably get a Fire Emblem character. Zabudum. I love Zabudum. 
That's my favorite Fire Emblem character. Looks like edgy fashion, not fantasy. It looks weird. I don't like it. Jean de Honestly, when you type it like that, it does actually look like a Fire Emblem character. Hello, Wendy Journal. Easily the best Game Boy or Fire Emblem character. Jean de Bum. Jean de Bum. A great, a great guy. Or girl. I don't know. Just whoever they are. The best character. Three houses having more muted hair colors was a great way to make anime hair look cohesive. Yes, I completely agree. I completely agree. I mean, to be fair, I don't know any of the old Fire Emblems, so I cannot compare it to anything, but I really liked that like, the hair wasn't super in your face. Cause I think that would have like, not broken immersion, but just seemed a bit odd. But yeah, like green, uh, Linhart's green hair is like quite desaturated. Um, Hilda, uh, trying to think of all the odd hair colors. Yuri, his is a very desaturated blue. Um, or purpley blue, I guess. Marianne, are you censoring Caspar's name? <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri's spaghetti has stood out though. I think that's all the design. I never had an issue with Dimitri's hair. Uh, I don't, I never really understood it, but who? <laughs> Who's Caspar? Poor Ca Stop censoring his name. <laughs> We're going to have a terror situation where I just love Caspar and defend Caspar because people are mean about Caspar. Apart from, I don't know if he has a personality. So where is he on the list? There he is. God, I need to move Yuri up. I'm so sorry. This is not a correct list. <laughs> This list is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> this is wrong. I, I'm moving Yuri up because I just can't live with the fact he's that low. It just, it's not correct. I don't like it. He's above so many. He's like here. Okay. I can't believe he didn't censor his name. <laughs> it's his name. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Casper oh is great in my son, but also able to make fun of Whatever. The 16th student <laughs> lying hidden somewhere in this church school. The one they call the ultimate forgettable. Watch out for him. <laughs> Casper! Oh my god. <laughs> it's not even his time yet. We're already bullying him. Thank you very much for the hunter biddies. I'm so sorry, Caspar. I'm so sorry. I find it so funny that Caspar is like bullied upon, but also one of the like most popular ships. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Um, incredible. Thank you so oh much. Oh, thank you, Smench. Caspar found dead beside Sonic. <laughs> Two miners gone before their time. You need to stop. You need to stop talking about <laughs> Sonic dying. <laughs> Not this music. Not now. Not with Sonic. Oh my god. Thank you for the hundred biddies. I love Casper, and I never heard the meme of him being forgettable, but somehow it really fits him. It's memorial time. Sonic died. Basically, there was... <laughs> there was like a best award, like a, a player voted best award, and the Sonic and Genshin fandoms were like rabid dogs going at each other in horrendous ways. And then 
someone said something about orchestras fighting and I thought like literally the orchestras were fighting and then like not like fighting physically but just in general that they were mad at each other and then and then somehow that progressed to to Genshin winning so so Genshin killed Sonic and then we were looking up how long a hedgehog lives and then Sonic became a child and then Sonic died as a child. I don't know, it was a blah. <laughs> got killed yesterday by the Genshin community. <laughs> Sonic may have died, but Horizon Forbidden West got buried this year. Oh. I'm so sorry, Sonic and Horizon Zero, Horizon Forbidden West. I know the name. Um, a minor murdered Sonic. A minor murder of Sonic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Casper was so unreplaceable in my playthrough. He would crit like every time. Oh, was he the Dimitri? That's the only reference I have. It's Dimitri. Just being a rabid animal on the battlefield. Um, I can't wait. I miss him. <laughs> uh, speaking of orchestra, the flute man at the Game Awards looks through yesterday. During the last song again, he was amazing. It's true. He was, he was having a blast. Was he Felix who killed everything barehanded? <gasps> I want to make Caspar that. I don't even know how I made Felix that, but I want to make Caspar like, I don't want to give him a weapon. I just want him to use his bare hands on the battlefield as this tiny little devil. And oh my God. And Edelgard's like, Caspar, no, come back. And he's like, <laughs> and then Edelgard's like, oh my God, we've someone put the leash back on Caspar. And Caspar's just tearing through the battlefield. That's my goal. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's so canon. Perfect. That's what happened. That's what he did to my Sedith, I think. I think, didn't Casper kill Sedith <laughs> in my playthrough? It's fine. Do you think you'll recruit any blue lions? No, don't worry. It's not too soon because I have an entire plan. Don't. You can ask me anything because I am, I have, I already know exactly who I'm recruiting. <laughs> so the plan is, uh, I've only played blue lions of Fire Emblem. Um, and next I'll be playing black eagles. And the plan is, okay, so basically my biggest ship in Fire Emblem is Dimitri and Felix. That's what you just need to know before we get into this. I just think their ship is just like unbelievable underrated the best ship in the entire game um so far so far before anyone's like but Hubert and fun i know um so felix and dimitri are just like wow so uh my plan is is to recruit felix and let felix kill dimitri because i'm a sane and normal human being um, that's my main goal. So I'm recruiting Felix. I'm also recruiting Ash because I love him. I'm also recruiting Marianne because I love her. And I'm recruiting Lawrence because I think him and Ferdinand will... Like, I just imagine them talking and my brain just like... leaves. Uh, that's it. That's who I'm recruiting. That's my crew. Bring on the angst. I'm truly living my angst AU life in the Black Eagles. Dimitri's gonna have a bad day. <laughs> With Edelgard and Felix. <laughs> um, the Golden Deer's Day is getting the least love. Look, one of, the, one of the houses has extreme daddy issues. One of them has extreme religious trauma, and one of them is a group of teens working at a theatre company. I... It's just 
hard. It's hard. Average AO3 author. Thank you. But ha Hannah Hubert and no, <laughs> no. <laughs> One of my many reasons you're my favorite stream. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Not recruiting last year on Annette. No, maybe Annette, but they wouldn't be my um. They wouldn't be my uh. I'm not going to focus on them. I hope your birthday party is super fun. <laughs> Safe travels, Minnie. I'm not a, even a Felix fan, but I recruited him to the Black Eagles purely because of the angst potential. Absolutely beautiful. Astounding. Incredible content. I have like so much I can get into about Felix and Dimitri. It's absurd, but I won't do that because uh, it's absurd, but also because spoilers. But I just... <laughs> He's Felix is wow. Felix is just incredible. I love the blue lines too. I can't wait for Black Eagle. It's gonna, but it's gonna be so sad to not be a blue lion. They're just a little, they're, they're my babies. I love them. I mean, I'm adopting two of them at least, but God. Oh, I'll also probably recruit Sedith again because it's Sedith. I can't like it's it's Sedith, so. You know, it's not like my fault. He just exists and I have to, I have to. Actually, I don't know if he'll come with me. Wait, obviously no one say anything. Oh boy. <laughs> might I be walked against away his... for one second and I heard someone here. Is it a Felix Finn? I, I have thoughts. I have so many thoughts and a vat of poetry about Felix for you. <laughs> Whoever you are out there, can I convert you to Felix emblem? Felix, Felix. I? I have thoughts. <laughs> I really like how he said I. I have thoughts. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Thank you. Also, hello, Sota. I think you've been around for a while and I haven't said hello, but hello. Thank you for the 100 biddies, Switch. Church of Felix. True. Um, yes. Felix. Imagine not recruiting Lysithia. It's hard to spell. Um, I just recruited her every single playthrough. She's my child. I think it's because like, I didn't know her, but now I'm gonna get to know her. So it's gonna be great. One time in a mission, Felix was the last unit I had and he won single-handedly. Beautiful. What I would do throughout my entire playthrough was just, I would send Dimitri and Felix on their own into a crowd of men and the men would punch them and then they would die. Like I would just draw all of the aggro onto Felix and Dimitri. I would take the weapons off Felix. Felix barehandedly killed an old man. You know what old man I mean probably, but like he just, no weapons, bare hands. Do you ever want to be an old man? All the time. Every day. The men would miss and then Felix and Dimitri would slaughter them. They would miss every time. <laughs> would you recruit characters who have support to the house leader because it's exclusive to the roles? Um, it wouldn't be something I... So here's the thing. I don't play games with any degree of skill or like pre-planning apart from what sounds fun. So I wouldn't necessarily want to because that would give me like, cause I would just rather recruit the characters that like is fun for my brain to make up a story around. <laughs> like I'd rather recruit Felix than someone who had a support with Ada God. And then I would just watch the supports afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Zaid. Um, yeah, 
That's probably it. Like, I know, like, I probably am not going to recruit any of the uh, DLC characters, but I think they have good supports with, like, Dimitri, which I need to watch at some point. No skill, says the streamer who first tried that super hard DLC boss. Okay. <laughs> okay. Skill and luck are two very different things. <laughs> Um, I did. I did first try that DLC boss, but I don't really know how. I was just having, I was just having a good time. Ultimate lucky gamer. I am Nagito. Speaking of Nagito, shall we play Nagito Simulator 2022? Dang it, Rumpa. Great segue to Bulls. Thank you so much. I really tried. How have you been spending free time? That is not a stupid question. No stupid questions. Um, um, I hung out with Mikan and I desperately tried to hang out with Nagato and the game wouldn't let me. Oh, I'm very off, off center. Um, uh, who else did we hang out with yesterday? People. <laughs> uh, Pekko! Oh, I hang out with Pekko and I hang out with Nekamaru. That was it. And Sonia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Thank you! Thank you so much, Sarah, for gifting that stuff to Ultraviolet. Thank you! That's so nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know what I've noticed? If you look at all of the name tags, they all seem normal, right? Normal, 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 normal. Wait, where's Naito? Did I miss him? I swear his has blood on it. Ooh. He deserves. <laughs> it's just for extra flavor. It's just strawberry jam. What blood? There is no blood on the on the uh, tablecloth, Hajime. There is no blood. I don't see it. Hee <laughs> hee. Just want to done on the fun. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Are you playing here? You might be a bit shady. Oh yeah, sorry. We're in murder. <laughs> Happy Danganronpa. I love your top. Thank you. It's uh, Haru cosplay. Not really, but kind of. I don't know. I think that's a little far back. It's just red colored pineapple sauce. Nagito likes pineapples. I see, I see. Oh, wow, why do we even begin? Hmm. Ugh, that's weird. <laughs> There's a dead body over there. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? 
What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. My name's Hajime, and I'm mad at everyone. I missed the end of the last stream. What? Oh my god, someone's dead! <laughs> uh, so, what happened last stream? Basically, uh, Danganronpa did Danganronpa things, and there was a swimsuit exhibition. It was really fun. Great content. Um, and... Uh, so we did that, and then whilst that was happening, someone was being murdered. Um, and by someone, I mean Mahiru. Uh, she died. She's dead. Uh, Nagito has been tied. Oh, not. I thought he was going to be tied up like to a chair, like this, like with rope around him here. He's full on being tied up with rope and chains and is just lying on the floor like a little worm. There was uh, there was a scene between Hajime and Nagito that changed my brain chemistry for the rest of my life, I think, about feeding. It was fine. It was very cool. And um, and Chiaki's cool. We like Chiaki. Chiaki's cool beans. Um. Yeah. One boy, one boy. Hajime, would you still love me if I was a worm? No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they really just, they just dumped him. They literally, like, I don't know where that man has gone to the bathroom, which is a horrible thought to have. He's barely eaten. I think he's just pissing on the floor. Maybe he can just like worm his way uh, one place, piss, and then worm his way to another place on the floor. <laughs> so he has like the piss floor and the not piss floor. I, I don't- I don't- did they give him a dive? I don't want to think about it. He's just pissing and shitting and flooding. <laughs> That's what life really is. It's meaningless apart from pissing and shitting and flooding. <laughs> that just made me think of, of a Final Fantasy XIV character and I just... I... <laughs> wow. Can I believe Nagito and a character beginning with Z in Final Fantasy XIV are essentially the same. I... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let's stop thinking about that. <sighs> what is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from Alia? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? The whole swimsuit sequence confused me. Ubiki and Mikan said it would be weird to walk around in swimsuits, so they wore their regular clothes over this, but then everyone just walked in after that was only wearing their swimsuits. You... Ultimately, we know why, you know? We know why. We know... We know why. I'm good, thank you, Lord. How are you? Um... They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well... Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. <laughs> But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey! Now that you mention it, I had thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried, to get in I tried to get into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mihiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed these footprints. The uh, footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they only belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Pekko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe... Is that really true? But still... <laughs> 
but these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprint would lead from the shore to the tunnel. <gasps> then, whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Um, well for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. <laughs> okay, how do I? It took a nap and lost a few hours. How are we doing today? Um, we, well, uh, everyone's great. We're doing well. Um, just to, just don't look at some of the screen, and we're doing fantastic. Hello. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell on a beach. Wow. Is this really the energetic Mihiro I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both my hands on my cheeks and face Mahiru's body once more. <sighs> Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate or she was dying. So true, Hajime. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahira with a blunt object. A blunt object? It's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat? Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Ah? Well, there's a girl named Girl E who was killed on the fourth day. <gasps> yeah! Um so true oh my god and the bodies are posed the same curious if I put my ear against her head I can hear the ocean <laughs> no the image of him being like pulling yourself together Hajime and then slapping his own ass <laughs> that girl was killed with a blow from the metal bat just like Mahiri Hey, hey. Did, did, you, did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? Uh, then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all of the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to actually do, to do is actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on the investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Imagine doing that. <laughs> metal bat is a truth bullet. A truth bat. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks? Are there drinks that are missing? Not only that, the drinks left too look either sweetened or coloured. <gasps> Yo, wasn't it Hyoko who was saying that she doesn't drink coloured drinks because of the the colourings or something and them being unhealthy? And then they were, Mahiro was like, but you eat sweets? Damn, they really got in a fight over that, huh? They look unhealthy. Okay, I wanted to check something in the rules. Okay, your, your rules don't matter, okay.
The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. So could have Hyoko been one, Kazuichi be two, and me be three? Obviously this is all rhetorical, don't confirm anything. So then Hyoko didn't kill her, but she was number one who saw the body. And that's why she ran away crying, because she was trying to find someone. I don't remember when the thingy played. I remember him screaming. Oh jeez, this is gonna take forever. Can our guns at the ready? Yes. Don't help me. Don't tell me anything. I'm I'm I simply know nothing. Kazuichi is always screaming. This is not untrue. Um Beautiful. Sorry, we're getting serious about this. No messing around anymore from Hajime. If I don't want to know literally anything, I will. I will say if I want to know. Again, we must thank Ibuki for playing the saxophone in the background. <laughs> really like sets the tone. A body has been discovered. Okay. I should go help Kazui. Oh yes, I was really uncomfortable because there were too many women in swimsuits around me. So true. Okay, so. Okay, so it was discovered before I discovered it. So Kazuichi was number three. So Hyoko was probably number two. We can assume. And then there was a first one. I know what you are, Hajime. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, we're starting to put together a picture in our mind. I only say Hyoko was probably two because we saw her leaving the beach. Whereas one, we didn't. Maybe one was Pekka or something. I don't know. Hi, Stormy Callie, how's it going? How you doing? Stinky because he's also uncomfortable with showers. True. True. Huh? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Could it be? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Like, if you're gonna wear a mask, at least make it a nice one. Jeez. Um, a gaudy mask. Huh? Ah, the mask! You've seen this? <gasps> Sandwich Esper Ito! It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% of my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonya's country really alright? <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Wrist. It is well. We've only just begun. It cannot be. Could it be? That was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry. Um, please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonia rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I will wait until she decides to talk about it. Ah, for Sonia to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. She's also very into serial kills and stuff, so I wonder if there's like a... You know, like a... Um, a serial killer who wears it. Hajime hates weebs. They make him uncomfortable, okay? 
Just like shiles and women. <laughs> the closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. Wow, he's in the closet. What is that? This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Hiyoko, this is looking bad for you. Huh? There's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is, it's clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did they drop this while they were inside the closet? Hajime is probably comfortable in here. When isn't he in the closet? <laughs> this is Hajime's safe space. <laughs> and now he's been tied up asking to be fed, but Hajime hasn't had to question himself on things like that before. Yellow gummy. Shelves, flotation devices, snorkels, nets, and there's also some paint supplies too. There's not much else that could be related to the incident. Okay, if you say so. <sighs> Sorry. Jeez, how careless. Well, I guess that's everything, okay. Is Hiyoko also in the closet? I mean, honestly, there were vibes. Uh, I've With been found. Mihiru. Ibuki saw the vibes. Ibuki supported the vibes. Uh, Mahiru was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. <laughs> Jeez, Mahiru. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> this is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. So true. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought. Trash. Oh, there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? But I'm gonna write it in my truth bullet channel. Trash. Nagito. I miss him. <laughs> Has anyone fed him? I need to go I need to go give him food. There's blood stains on the floor and there's streaks as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaks from when Mahiru tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Ah. Uh, I guess are we done? No? So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Oh no, Nagato needs his fruit loops! I gotta go! <laughs> That's right, the shower's being repaired so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil! Anyway, this is all Monokuma's fault. Everything is Monokuma's fault. Uh... Oh, uh, well, uh, your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you wanted me. I've already given up. Got it? How am I meant to play this game when they just put sick beats on? But let me tell you this one more time. 
As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside, too. Go inside, then. I might as well check in the inside. Good job. Blood everywhere. Oh, Akane. <laughs> Akane? You doing good? You all right? Um... I never understood why they all assumed she was working for Monokuma. Like, I get not liking that she doesn't want them to leave, but she also clearly resists them every time. Uh, I think it would be fairly easy to believe that that's like an act or a ruse. Because she did transport them from school to a vacation and tell, like, say, you have no memories and say, now you just have to live here and do hope. You know, I, I don't think it's unfounded. She did kidnap them. Blood everywhere, Akane, same thing. <laughs> He's so brave going into a room filled with stuff that makes him uncomfortable. Showers and a woman. <laughs> no! no! This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. I would feel comfortable showering in this space room. This space room? Shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. <laughs> but changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. <laughs> I'm mad at me. I'm mad at the world. God, this window is so high up. It's just silly. <laughs> There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. Not just that, it's an iron barred window, if that's the case. Yep, it would be impossible to go in and out through there. What? <laughs> Are you still thinking about that window? <laughs> yeah, Akane, I've been thinking about it for the past two minutes. And I just, I can't get my mind off it. Hi Shadow Maker, welcome! It's lovely to have you here. Thank you for the follow. Hajime would have loved it. He would have had a lot to say about the poster of a big boob supermodel. He absolutely would. I think he would have been actually like mad. I think he'd be like, oh. like not even in a homoerotic undertone way. I think he'd be like, God, why do why is it assumed that this should be the decoration for the men's shower room? This is just stupid. This is a blah, 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 blah. Like, I think he would just say that. Just because he's so grumpy. All I can think about is that window. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking that the killer might have escaped through that window. Leave it to me! Alright, I got it! I'll pitch in and help you out! I'm about to be thrown out of a window. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. Oh. I'll check the window for you. Pitching and help. It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll beat you up. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my pa- Tears are clean? I can't eat. Ah, I see. That's good. I let out a deep sigh, then bent over. <laughs> I went out of deep side and bent over under the window. All right. Okay, great. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. <laughs> Hajime is the most uncomfortable he's ever been. Oh my god, this really feels like it should have been the opposite way. Look at Hajime's thighs. There's no muscle in them. Look at Akane's. Built. Hey! Your balance sucks! 
Make sure your stance is wider. Y you you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. Hell yeah. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? I just hear it, don't she? It's... Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Okay, we need to unpack that. Are you okay? Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. I just can't stop mm. thinking about that window. I see, I see. So, that's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With a carny on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. <laughs> this iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Fantastic news. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they even able to reach that window? Hmm. Hmm. Even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a big problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But, but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as Stepsil would still be inside. Like, but if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So. Yeah, like. I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problems, right? <sighs> just as I thought, it looked difficult to go in and out through that window. Why? What, what the heck? I don't even took the time to lend you my wisdom. Piss me off. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. <sighs> it was such a waste of my time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like the end of the wall. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Great. Honestly, I like that Hajime is the one, like, anime main character who I can believe that he wouldn't. He's a good boy. Well, he's a very judgmental boy, and he do, does believe half of the cast is traumatized, but I think he's correct, so... Hi, Ezra, how's it going? <clears throat> Mikan, uh, Mikan and Akane's writing is very normal and not awful. Yeah. He's a prude boy. He is. He's very judgmental, but he's very, he's very pure. <laughs> um, Hajime is the ultimate bitch after all. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower, in this shower room. Hmm, I guess I finished investigating all I can. But that's, that's still not enough. I'm big Hajime Sims this month. I fully support you. Hajime, honestly, is probably my second favorite character. I think he's so good. Like, I love being in his brain. I, like, just the way he says stuff is fascinating. Like, when he was like, God, what a beautifully big bathroom I have in my cottage. Well, it makes me uncomfortable to take showers. What did he mean? When he was like, gosh, I think I'm actually getting close to the people in this, in this island. Ah, uh, but making friends is embarrassing. You good, Hajime? What's up? What's wrong? Are you okay? I don't think so. When he saw that window and he went, damn, I just can't take my mind off that window. I love him. He's just, he's so good. His brain is an enigma to me, and I'm living in it. Thank you for the follow. God. 
It's so interesting that you care so much for Makoto and Hajime. I did not care for them that much, Lamal. Hajime is funny though. I don't know. I just enjoy them both so much. I love Makoto. I love Hajime. I, I think they're so fun. <sighs> That's a mighty fine palm tree. That's he's what you would call complex. Hajime, Hajime, he's probably traumatized. And when he met Nagito and he was like, God, this guy seems so happy. He must be traumatized. <laughs> what did it all mean? <laughs> God. He's so fun. I like him. Just from the clues here, uh, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahira got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Maybe he's rejecting. I mean, probably. Ultimate Empath. He can feel the vibes are off. I feel like Hannah is the type to spend too much time trying to psychoanalyze silent protagonists, which is valid. Did I spend hours of Persona 5 psychoanalyzing Joker? Maybe. Gali was killed in that game by a single blow from Metal Bat. Metal Bat, that's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That, there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, in truth, the GIS game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. Kingdom Hearts missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about the mystery is standing right next to me. Well, okay, she's not standing next to you, but it's fine. I should ask her about it. Huh. Oh, okay. I didn't look at them! Seriously, please don't tell the others about that. They'll misunderstand me. Okay. As a toilet, but you really can't use it as a step stool. Great. Okay. Right next to me, in the other room. While not silent protagonist, I would love to see you play The World Ends with you. I really want to. I really want to. Um, I don't know. I've heard things about it being played on the DS and and finding a way to stream it and stuff and I I don't know uh but I want to play the world ends with you um yeah I wish Deltarune was filling out so you could play it Deltarune's pro tag is one of my favorite silent pro tags Ooh, that's cool uh yeah I want <sighs> I'm like I don't ever want them to rush Deltarune in any single way ever but I don't want to play it chapter by chapter. I want to play it all at once, so I'm just like, ah! Jewel, hello. <laughs> How you doing? The Switch version is playable. Mmm, intriguing. <laughs> I don't want it to be rushed, but I also want it right now. <laughs> Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um, Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So... You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. Let's go. I see a boy who is not a gamer. Massive L plus ratio plus maidenless. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house. Uh, and headed over to Javork Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. That person! Fuhiko again? Nagito? Who? You little Hello bitch. There. What? Just because me and Chiaki are hanging out? How did you get out? Why are you not chained up? Have you pissed? Have you had food? He is jealous. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. 
I'm glad you guys are doing well. This is giving sorry. Do you remember that Persona 5? This isn't a big spoiler or anything. That Persona 5 scene when <laughs> Joker and Sumi are hanging out and then again she's like, how do you two know each other? What are you, what, how, what are you doing? Can I, am I allowed to come? I'm invited, right? Can we go have food? And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> He seeped through the ropes. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't mean I got to Maybe. I don't know yet. I don't see it yet, but I. Uh, there's potential. Because the class trial, I get it. But I need. Um, I need more. Nagato's Hatchmate is with a girl. Senses went off and he chewed through his chains. <laughs> I know. And Joker just stares at Akechi for the entire scene. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible content. Yes, and also like that, oh my god, when you're hanging out with Marie and Yosuke's like, hello, I'm his partner. What are you two doing? WHO the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I asked you first. I asked you second, Louise Kozu. WHO the fuck are you? <laughs> Thank you so much for the 150 biddies, Megan. Thank you. World Health Organization, the fuck are you? Thank you. Thank you very much for the bits. Uh, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken, just uh, for a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently my hero got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group. Always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed. If only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. <sighs> But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mahiru. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Mm. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jesus, this usually is acting so crazy. He's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now, <laughs> you don't have to make that scary face. Yeah? Thank you so much for all your videos. Incredible. Beautiful. Wonderful. Nagito, can you go take a shower? You kind of... Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Almost. Almost. You know, you don't have to make that scary face. I'll, I'll tell you, you know. Monomi. It's Monomi. I can't believe I mispronounced her name and then she corrected me. <laughs> Nagito giving big Hannah wants another murder and P4 energy. I would like people to stop being like them. Nagito, Hannah has Nagito energy. <laughs> Monomi, yes, it was me. You, why do you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um, did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. That's what fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Wasting shower water on someone like me? <laughs> I don't think I deserve shower water. I was gonna make a joke that I'm not gonna make. I was gonna say bad things. I'm just... Uh... Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point too. 
You have no right to say that. What? But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's gonna be a class trial for me here, right? That's right! That's right! That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough! Enough already! Just just go away already! <laughs> Understood! <laughs> Hannah, wow, a murder, how exciting. Nagito, wow, a murder, what an opportunity for hope. Oh, why are you shut with the class? No. I I don't want to. Thank you. I respectfully decline. <sighs> Nagato, you two, hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely. But I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here with you. I guess I'll leave you and Shiaki alone together. Oh. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I I too will do some investigating for a while. I would try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Wouldn't who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey. Hajime, let's move on and start the game. You're right. Damn, Hajime's, Hajime's falling apart. The ship is falling apart. The more I speak with him, the more confused I become. Hajime, that's called being gay. <laughs> Okay, it's- never mind, the ship is... getting stronger. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki. Okay. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? You need a walkthrough? <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So is there a walkthrough? You can- can you tell me about it? Well... When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too, you know. That thing that was displayed in the game over sec- uh, sec- screen? Section. Screen. Is that- Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. Just so you know. That doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. Thank you, Chiaki. It means you have to press down five times. And then the hidden command is... Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the... Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Give it a try. Yeah, I, 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 I got it. <laughs> the girls that get it, get it. <laughs> I played this before I was 100% sure um, on buy, and let me tell you that sure makes me realize that the subtext isn't even subtext, it's just text. <laughs> I need to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Screen change. She was right. Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases Truth Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the enter key, right? <sighs> we open with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. 
They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this one's peaceful academy? By playing the missing first and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day. Um, thank you so much! Thank you very, very, very much, uh, Blinch, for the three months of support. Sorry. Thank you! I appreciate it so much. Welcome back. I hope you are having a lovely day. Thank you so much. You are now a loopy on the Christmas tree. Congratulations. I truly, I mean, the Persona 4 parallels are just absolutely outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Something. Oh, I was gonna say it would be cool how similar like this follows. Oh no, because I guess Chiaki would be girl E. Not Chiaki. Uh, Mahiru would be girl E. Because I was wondering like, oh, what if Yoko also died, and it was like. Because it said that they all came to tragedies for witnessing it. I don't know. Thank you, Soda. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slopo Girl A. Come on, Girl B. You don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. Uh, uh, I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. See, girl B seems to be... He okay? If we're looking... If we're trying to investigate... Thank you very much for the hydrate. The way girl B treat uh, the world blah, blah, blah. the way girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Uh, is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't help. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, girl, eh? A uh, chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl is getting really scared. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to bully girl, A. Eh? Oh, someone's dead. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Oh. My time to shine. Oh wait, I can run. <sighs> Girl Eve, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Uh, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Ah, me? Come on, hurry, hurry. This gameplay is just absolutely popping off. 
What's it gonna be like inside? I don't know. I can't go. Oh, there we go. Clatter, clatter, clatter! Piano! Dead body! Oh, on the window? The fish tank's broken. Why? <laughs> I can't take my eyes off this. <laughs> Someone's laying on the floor. This, she's not laying down, she's dead. Dead? That's impossible. Why? Lower your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? Mm. I see, so that's what happened. I found it, the killer's escape route. Escape route, could it be? The window? Is it subtle? There's no doubt the killer probably escaped from there. Yeah. Yeah, come on. What's up? Come yeah, there's no doubt. Okay, okay. Great. No. Ah, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall is probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music door from the inside and after killing the skull, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they break it? <laughs> they were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the uh, gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. I'm getting truth bullet? Okay. It's so too high to jump from the second floor. So maybe they thought it would be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you have to either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. Uh, when I went to the music ring key it was in the teacher's lounge so the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window ladies just call the police you're not stuck on an island then the door could have been locked from the music you know the door could have been locked from the inside that means the killer was inside the music room also to get outside the music room they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall but we didn't see anyone pass by which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Okay. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole girl E's swimsuit also murdered that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape, rape her. Jesus. But uh, but she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped. This trial seems like it's going to be very simple and not tedious. Absolutely. That's the vibes I'm getting. Ha. Uh -huh. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this and the killer might still be around too. That's bad, uber bad. We better hurry up and run. But don't we have to report this to the police? Yeah. Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect. Ladies. <laughs> My favorite trial, beautiful. I look forward to it. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Girls. I, 
Gauls. Uh, hey, please don't wait. Don't leave me. Oh, and then this one took photos, right? Gull D. <laughs> Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're going to confess your love to me. Um. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> on the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. Is it flowers or is it blood or is it a cross? Take better photos. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girlie? Uh, are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? Okay, Nagito. Chill. You didn't say anything earlier. I knew, you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Well, no, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a uh, living hell. I got this. <laughs> That bitch! Oh my god, it is! Uh, was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend! If you told me, none of this would have happened! Golly, don't, don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore! You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking about how she'd target me next time, so I felt a sudden rage. And before I knew it, I was choking her. This is like exactly the flashbacks. Flashbacks <laughs> to a jamming little boy. Holy shit. And then she lost consciousness. But things would have been worse if she woke up, so that's why I had to do something about it. And that's. It's not my fault, or yours. It's all her fault. Ah, golly! <laughs> the average high school experience. What is that? That bitch, golly, was it? Where did she was with her on the day of the incident? <laughs> Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... <gasps> Could it be the sound of breaking glass was actually this? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? And why did she try to secretly get rid of it by not hiding it at all and just putting it plainly to see on this little building thingy? That bitch... What the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh my god! It whoa. Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that, I will never, I will never forgive her. I don't necessarily think the game was clear at any point, but looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. <laughs> His name is Gwyth. It's French. <laughs> I don't think they said bitch enough, personally. It's true. Uh, yeah. Now you filled in all four events from the first day. <laughs> hey, Jackie. How do you game? What do you think of the characters in this game? Um, you mean like Gali and Galbi? Their names make no sense, and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. See? While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? 
Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on this staff roll. Monokuma. Monokuma. Monokuma? Ah, uh, Monokuma. Monokuma. No, Monokuma. Did Monomi do anything? It's kind of... Sumiki. Koizumi. Hyoko. Mieda. Sato. Kuzu. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, just now! See? Didn't I tell you? you what you want to know? <gasps> he does have a sister, doesn't he? Little baby face. He started talking about her and then he got embarrassed about it. See, didn't I tell you what well, you want to know? Oh my god, wait. Okay, no, I got to finish the scene. Uh... What you want to know is going to be on that. Miracle! Yay! Congrats, Miracle! Congratulations! You have finally beaten Twilight Syndrome murder case! <laughs> now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. Ta-da! That's right, this game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way... Non-fiction means an original story based on historical facts or records. Hey, answer my question. Phew. But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, well, that can't be helped. Yeah. <laughs> the school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Oh, school life. Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as reward, yeah. I won't give it to you. Ending prize. <laughs> I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. How disappointing. Did you say an ending prize? I don't care about this murder anymore. I want a prize. Mm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Aww. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. What was the prize? But the ending prize isn't the problem, it's what Monokuma said. You mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. <laughs> what the hell was our school like? <laughs> Just as I thought. It's connected to that this time, too. But is it really? Is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then, what did they do to us? You... It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps. Hanakuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. But this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know. Instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um... You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. Oh my god, I get a little detective butt all the time. Hell yeah. Um, I'm not on Twitch a lot. I came here from a YouTube channel and decided to hop by and the streams already feel so fun. Ah, that's so sweet! Thank you so heck much! Um, welcome from YouTube. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the hydrate and thank you for the follows. Um, if I get some information from them, I might find out some about something. About the mystery behind Mihiro's death. About whether the game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey. Then let's hurry and I'll see others. <laughs> and while you're at it, I'll somehow it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to uh, me. Also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Hello there. Oh, hello again. Um, I'm gonna quickly BRB. Um, 
I wish to grab a Pepsi and um, I'll probably run to the bathroom. See you in a minute, Nagito. He's just been standing outside the park the whole time. Waiting. Product placement, I know. I wish. I wish. <laughs> I'll be up here.
Oh my gosh, hello everyone. I just I just came back. The, wow, what happened to the screen? Uh, who did uh, that's so that's so weird. That's so that's so strange. <laughs> who I can't believe more people have gone to Paris on a fun vacation together. That's wild. I can't find my mini Kodo file. I was trying. <laughs> I mean, whoever was editing was trying. <laughs> I actually have like so many ideas for new BRB screens. <laughs> I can't decide which one I want to do. <laughs> um, we'll figure it out. Baby girl Dimitri isn't hiding in the tree. <laughs> you want Dimitri that too? <laughs> Hold on, do I have Dimitri? I have the emote of Dimitri. <laughs> I don't think I have Dimitri. Uh... I don't know what I have. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Anywho. Make the BRB a slideshow. Honestly, I might have to. <laughs> Not even trying to hide. He's literally just standing in the bushes. In insanely obvious. Not trying to hide at all, but just still staying in the bushes. He feels at home with all the dirt on him, you know? The BRB screen is just every BRB screen. <laughs> Grip it and rip it. Oh yeah. Cheers. Friday. Let's get lit, everyone. Cheers. Um, why? Hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. What were you two doing? I was watching the whole time, but like, what did you talk about? Anything? Did you mention my name? I'm Nagito. You know that, right? Hey, I, I hope you guys were talking about me. Ha, ah, that's funny, because I love hope. You know me, right? Please? The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? <laughs> so you caught me. Wouldn't it be the be uh, wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've been in the game, we must think similarly, right? Man. No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well, there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why? The characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they- Bye! <laughs> if you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Um, what should we do? Um... I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Jeez! I guess I have to hang out with him. That's so sad and bad. No. Oh. oh. What a little stinker. True. Hey, hey. Apparently everyone- yeah. Wee. Look at these legs. Look at him run. Look at him go. The speed on this guy. <laughs> to a fun meet and greet. <laughs> oh. Hello, Moo Moos. Bye bye, Moo Moos. Hello, hotel. Bye bye, hotel. Hello, supermarket. I think I rang the wrong way. Hello, airport. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hajime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hyoko are all here. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sajun uh, Sayonji, 
Miyota, Satur, Kazuryu. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. Just like you, had So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean... <laughs> Gotta get into character, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, you said Murakuma had something to point to tell us, right? Well, we really came because you told us that. <laughs> sorry, that was a lie. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> you tricked us. What the heck? Jeez! Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you just wait until we finish our business with you? Right, Hajime? Uh, this is like I'm on the same team as Nagato. <laughs> no, I can't focus on that right now. <laughs> I have to get the information from them. <laughs> hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Why you? <laughs> same team. And he can't think about it. It's just text! Where is the subtext? It's just text! Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Metacase? Oh. <laughs> well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but... <laughs> Now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. A unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game too. Hi, Makarabi. Um, we have we have been investigating, and Nagito has got himself out of his chains, and now he's now he's just with us again. After your voicing of Mikan, I am now convinced that she actually just squeals instead of saying proper words and everyone has to decipher. <laughs> That's why we need Minomi. She's good at accents. Um, let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mihiru? <laughs> huh? You mean that in a perverted way? <laughs> no, in a normal way. <laughs> Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mihiro was, uh, I am, um, yeah. Oh, when I asked Mihiro this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? I see. Yeah, I see. but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Is that like when you see the word Thursday and you think of the color yellow or, or something? Let's just stay focused on Mihiru. That's totally it turns it. out Mihiru had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans. Uh, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Uh, no, I didn't ask. I see. Mihiru invited Ibuki, but why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Mikan, just looking at the planes real quick. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? Um, no, no. Since we said we weren't gonna play that game, also, I'm not really good at video games. <laughs> I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly. Ah, uh, timid tone. I'm pretty sure the Gale character was like that too. Hey, hey. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mikiru? <laughs> Gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving in the island, I did have a few conversations with them on you. Could it be? Did my hero hate me? It's definitely, and she hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me for a year, hated me. <laughs> actually invite me. She must be a really kind person. <laughs> Invite? <laughs> oh 
I'm sorry, we can't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you invited me this morning. This morning? Um, she looked very serious. She was this morning. We could meet up in the wheels and discuss something. We <laughs> didn't even get plans. I know it's on voice second. Thank you so much. I'm really putting my all into this one. <laughs> she says she's sorry for instantly doing it. <laughs> I feel like Mika needs to go up in the character ranking just for how Hannah does her voice. She is my favorite voice to voice. I thought Mikan was already at the height of pitiability, but then I heard your voice. <laughs> okay. I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to repair for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'd rescan her out of the baby. But if I only went with her, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> the hero invite invited me, Con? Why? <laughs> I see. Why would she do that? Hajime. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no, I'm losing it. I think I slept really badly <laughs> after the Game Awards. And I don't think it's been conducive to a good stream. <laughs> Bullying a girl, Hajime. Come on. At a certain point, the voice is going to be so high you won't be able to hear it anymore. Class will break. Ooh. I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. This is the best swing. Thank you. Um, it seems like Nihiru has also beat that game. Why? Why do you know that? You don't know? <laughs> if she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Good luck! I hope your country doesn't lose. I believe. Whatever country you're, you're supporting. I get that Hajime most likely meant it as why did Mikan want to meet up, but it, I know! It's so good. Hannah is that one mosquito you cannot swat in the dark! But still. Oh no! Oops! Sorry, hold on. I just... I just... I just wanted that permanently for the rest of my life. Uh, if she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game, just like we're doing now. But in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mihiru would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Naito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? What? I remember. I remember you chained up on the floor. Anyway, what happened to Mihiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. You tempted me. How mean. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful towards Mihiru. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time. But you, Hajime. What? It's fine. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being as quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hyoko. Yeah. Hey. If Mihiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she would have talked to you too, right? 
Well, Hyoko. <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Mm, man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So, I'm just going to go head back to my cottage now. <laughs> hey, Hyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hyoko ran away as so though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here. So why don't we take why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. I would never tempt Mahiru. You, Hajime, on the other hand, definitely. I didn't tempt her because I can't tempt her, but I tempted her. It's called flooding. <laughs> uh, hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit, exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime once more time and investigate? Um, it's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat the game, it's best we investigate there, I think. See? Okay, so... So girl D, I think. There was one girl who was take who took the photo. Who I think was Mahiro like who would have been Mahiro, because ultimate photographer. But then girl E was the one that like went and hid it and did the crime. So I think that was Hyoko. And then uh Fuyahiku was guy F. And then there was like one, I don't know. Hajime said that the girls had personality, but. No, but then Hyoko was probably the really rude one who was girl B. Am I gonna have to take actual notes? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so guy F is Fuyuhiko. Girl A. Girl B. Who is probably Hyoko. Girl C. Girl D. Girl E. Girl D was probably Mihiru. And I'll figure the rest out, I guess. Welcome back! Uh, Nekito Lee has to stay long enough to intrigue Hajime and then leave. Nekito knows how to leave Hajime wanting. <laughs> she might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm, um, that's your cue to say yes. <laughs> Come on. Why don't you ask me here this morning to go to the beach with me? Should we in this room just hey. for anything? Uh, okay. Mm, I think the investigation is going pretty well. It's it's definitely a, a fun time. Nagito has managed to chew the rope and chain off him, and that's fun. Some people will say it was Minomi who did it. Some people don't enjoy imagination. Oh wait, shouldn't we not cure anyway? Will we be doing the trial today? I don't know. Probably not because it was really long. Fujiki should be inside. <laughs> He's not coming out, huh? I think. I can't help thinking about Fujiki too, but I think it's better if we investigate Mahiru's cottage. Okay, sorry. That's what took like four hours. It did. It was a very long time. And I probably, I think it would be best for its own stream. Also, I don't like um, splitting up the trial streams because, you know, like once you're in the drive of it, like if you, 
if you if you're if you, you know and then you you get out of it and you're like I can't do it anymore all of the information has gone it's hard the door looks unlocked Phew. moving after you're told would be two third rate so I made sure to be one step ahead However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate too. Okay, that's fine. I guess I should go inside. The investigation has a piggyback writing in the alphabet. What book do you want? Aw, she had all her photos. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting throughout the room. Hajime's room confirmed stinky. That proves Mahiru was here, but she's not coming back. Ah. Um. Then I should try looking for a naughty book. Why? Yep. No, no, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez. Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? See? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on the top of the bed. On top of the bed. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat the game. Um. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was... A few photos. <gasps> this photo. This is a photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hiroko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like the game. Yep. There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's tradition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Gale was late. Oh, okay, and Girl D tried to cheer up by taking a picture. Okay, so Girl D is Mihiru. I'm guessing Gale is Ibuki. Is this the photo she took? Entrance hall photo has been added. Ah. Someone's going to commit a murder tonight. P.S. This is totally not Nagito, but please tell Hajime I miss him. <laughs> Look at this photo too. Oh, I understand what the photo was now. <laughs> a broken vase? Mm -hmm. Is that the same photo Gal D showed Gal E on the third day? As I recall, a broken as I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. But still, this photo is more shocking. As Shaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Hmm. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room, if that's the case. Could this be a photo of the first victim? You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. Okay, Hughes. And one more. This is the last photo. Ugh. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. Um. I mean, it clearly matches the body in the game. See? Yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of girl E. Mm. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So based on all these photos, yep. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight. And what's depicted in these photos proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. <laughs> Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Let's see, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. Hello. 
hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, AJ, for the raid. Thank you so much. How was the One Piece? The Final Fantasy XIV of manga stream is over. That's, jeez, damn. I love murder. There has been one. One Piece great, Hunter Hunter great, Hope and Danganronpa 2 is great. It is. It is wonderful. Thank you for the follow. Uh, hello, Raiders. Welcome. I play Danganronpa. Everything is very murder and then occasionally very weird and then occasionally. Oh, and then it's wow. And then more murder again. It's a real life photo than a drawing of a photo in the game. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Love the sweater man, thank you. I feel like it's very Haru. Um, the final fantasy of, final fantasy? Final Fantasy 14 of Detective Games. Who died? Mihiru. She dead. She out of here. The ultimate photographer, more like the ultimate dead person. She big dead. Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's the game. That's the game. Try play Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. So is that for you, Hiku? We'll talk then. Yep. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Um, my favorite, it's like really hard to to choose. It's um it's a pretty diff it's like it's tied between a lot of people you know like who really is number one right now it's hard to say um it's nagato it's 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 nagato he's it's him i actually have a whole ranking going on hold on that's not the right one <laughs> this this is the ranking it's me. It's either the sassy gay or the unhinged gay. <laughs> they are one and two. Is Nagito hashtag him? Nagito is so hashtag him. He. He. Wow. Yes. He had a he 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 had a very actually I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> I was I was gonna make the a comparison to a Final Fantasy fourteen character, but it would require explanation of jokes that don't need explaining. Change me content. Me 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 me. <laughs> Biku is my favorite. Based. I love Biku, yeah. The snow. Wait. Oh, huh, maybe the Time first out. person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mihiru. Someone else sent this to me. Someone else sent this to Mihiru? And that person is the one who actually. Oh, so like Fuyuhiko solved it first and then gave it to Mihiru, maybe. And then added the note in. <gasps> that makes sense. Mahiro wasn't just lured there by Nagito. She also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played the game, right? Then the person who played this game first... This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Him. It's he. Hey, hey. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did... That, we discovered a very important clue. Hi, Boulder, how's it going? Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mihiru, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. I need to get this Monokuma. No. Yeah. These photos, Mihiru must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. 
Even in this situation, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? Ah. It's okay, Hajime. Keep it together, bud. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hajime and Chiaki, you were together in a room with one bed. That's... What were you do? Why? Why were you do? What were... What, what were you doing? Thank you for keeping me calm. Well, I searched the whole room for my kid and she was hidden in the chat. Oh, little baby. I I know the panic of having a little baby kitten and then they just go missing and it turns out they're just like, they've tucked themselves in the tiniest corner in the world. You know, one time uh, my cat, uh, one of my cats is really, really tiny. Like he's just very small. And there was a cushion like just propped up on the sofa and he had managed to like just curl up in that like tight little triangle between the sofa and the and the and the cushion but it like didn't look like it had been moved at all and we were like where is the cat he where has he gone and we were yeah i feel that pain i just saw your final fantasy 10 ending i'm still emotional so thanks it is uh <laughs> yeah Haha, <laughs> Hajime, what are you doing? You're here with Chiaki. Ah, that's so weird. How could this happen a second time? <laughs> Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Now, now. <laughs> Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? Bow to me. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding, I was joking. Okay, it didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did you find out whose footprints those are? <laughs> if you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you. Of course, you'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. But if I can get a clue... If I can throw him... What are you gonna do, Chiaki? She's, she's not invited! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Nagito is just like, huh? Can you stop? <laughs> I'm gonna try to talk to Fuyuhiku and see if you can tell me anything. So... I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea, Chiaki. <laughs> what did he say? Well, his voice line was bow to me. And then his, uh, his full line was, I'll let you know if you get on your knees and lick my shoes. Very normal. Um, if someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Um, yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. Bye! I mean, dot dot dot. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? What? What is going on? I was joking about the third wheeling, but Nagito was like, actually... I was just... I was like, haha, it's funny, he's jealous. Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go blah 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 blah. I am with them. Okay. There is no longer subtext. It was all hee hee ha ha, and now it is it's just real. 
I love that Hajime keeps having gay panic when he shows up in shock. He can't be bothered. <laughs> and he's like, bye. <laughs> he's mad. I know. I don't know if I see it as like the OT3 because I'm like, I don't think Nagito likes Chiaki. <laughs> but but I'm down. I, I wish for it. I, I always am a big fan of an OT3. So fingers crossed. Um... But here's hoping, because uh, I did like. I will say I really liked uh, Chiaki and Nagito in the class trial. I loved that. Like I love how Nagito was obviously doing, oops, uh, doing Nagito things, um, and. Chiaki like was just like, okay, be quiet. That was fun. I, I like that. That was great. Where the hell am I? Oh, I've I've done it wrong like three times. It's fine. OT3 is when they both like Hajime. See, I like an OT. I don't like a triangle of like two sides not connecting. That's not fun. <laughs> Christ. Um, that's not fun to me. I like an actual triangle. Like everyone has to like everyone. That to me is the... Uh, I'm back, welcome back. Who, what's the OT3? People are fans of Chiaki, Nagito, and Hajime. OTP, what's everyone talking about? OT3 is like OTP, but with three people. Because it's not a pair. Um, Chiaki, Girl Boss, Nagito, Gaslight, Hajime, Gatekeep. Honestly? I kind of like that. That's like solved me most on the ship, just that it works in that way. I love when they can all hold hands together instead of two of them trying to hold each other at gunpoint. <laughs> Not a triangle, more like a line connecting three dots with Hajime as a central point. <laughs> I just think none of these three characters can relax without the presence of overwhelming complexity. <laughs> fun. Mm. They can just both hold Hajime's hand. It's true. Um, oh, hello! How are you doing? So you have appeared. Hello. I was right. Huh? What happened, I already sinner? Ass okay. I already assumed you would come here. Fine. There is nothing you can hide from me, the supreme overlord who wields the four dark davis of destruction. Thus, I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends. I can see it! We're preoccupied with your inf uh, infantile beach play. Nature. It matters not. Will of the world. For what I love is silence and solitude. Uh, that's right. That is, that's it. That's precisely it. I see. Uh, so he wanted to be invited to Gundam. No, you're a better boy than that. You didn't want to be. No. He feels left out. He felt left out of a of creepiness. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Hello, Nagito. How's it going? You're so tall. How's your little skeleton doing? How's his hand? Great. Wonderful. Oh, sorry. Now then. Let's try going inside. My Nakito. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me, Elia. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultima. <laughs> He doesn't know it's creepy, he just wanted to hang out. Mm. 
<laughs> sure. Um. What the hell? Oh, this Boston. Um, you two have arrived at a good time. Good news! I have discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um, thing is, I don't think it's true because he literally described it as a beach play. Unless he just has no clue what that means, but then I don't know why he would call it that. <sighs> it's just something I'm going to accept about this game. This isn't actually me striking against these characters, but... <laughs> um... I think you meant players in playtime. Maybe. I don't, <laughs> I don't but maybe. Um... Um... Does beach play have a double meaning? Oh, for me, he meant like beach play as in like they were making a play to see the girls. That's how I interpreted it. But maybe he didn't mean that. He just wanted to build sandcastles for his hamsters. It's me. Uh, you know what? I like that. I like that. He just wanted someone to look at his hamsters as he built them a castle made of sand. Um. You too, Mikan? <laughs> yeah, this is great. It looks like this investigation is reaching its boiling point. What's up, Sonia? Big news! Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news! What's the big news? See? I remember that sandwich Espy Eater moss that was next to Mikiru's body? Oh, the moss the killer used to hide that face. Listen! No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well... Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. That is Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Hey. The Sparkling Justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? Like you know, yeah, he wears that mask in the anime. It's true. Yeah, it's true that the mask we found is a heroin mask, but wow. it is a heroin mask to be precise. I can't wait for Sonia to be a serial killer. <laughs> the sandwich Espeito is a pretty witch girl. See, a heroin. Anyway. So you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed my hero? Mm. Which means, there's a serial killer hiding among us? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like that in some other video game. <laughs> wink, wink. This is stupid. Serial killer, my ass. <laughs> the killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However, although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me, Sparkling Justice! What? what the heck was that? Well? Oh, okay. I thought you were, like, admitting. <laughs> <laughs> that is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase! What? 
An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However... In the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice too. <sighs> no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, that is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Justice Arcana, let's go! You have formed a new bond! Thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? <laughs> Listen! No! It does not mean they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mihiru. Well... Uh, that's not possible. I... But that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh... They would be really cute. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia, I do. I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Uh... Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Um, well, um, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your home soon and just be disappointed. I get it. Just get on with it. <laughs> to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out the hero was definitely killed by a blow to the head. <laughs> she was she was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar the weapon is clearly the metal bat. We knew this. <laughs> it's fine. But every dark cloud is a silver lining. So they say uh, uh, it doesn't look like me it looks like my hero didn't suffer. What does that mean? There's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think I better remember that. Because you think that she dragged her body across the thing I and mean, she didn't. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so talking about you. Are you busy right now? Just tell me. Well, Just tell me, Mikon! Well, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mihara's pocket. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna tell you this in person. But I couldn't find you, so I couldn't say Oh. Uh, I was gonna tell you this in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place in time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sijun, Ursayonji. This letter! <laughs> this letter is real, I mean, Hiyoko to me. That up was Mihiro, right? Plus. Plus, Mihiro's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m., and they met 30 minutes prior. And we think about that, that implies that. We're starting to get confused. If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mihiro and Hyoko? Voice acting god, truly. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome to chat. I get the feeling Mikan is on Hannah's please die list. Uh, she is, but not for any reasons that are her fault. To be honest, no one's really on the please die list anymore. I'm kind of fine with them all living now. Um, We've come a long way from Polly. <laughs> Not Polly. No. I don't even know if you can still do that voice. Um. I just don't want the weird Mikan moments. Even Hyoko. I thought Hyoko and Mihiru were really cute. They were really sweet. Is there a please don't die list? Like Biokuya was the only one on that list.
It's for her own sake, truly. Like, I just don't want to see it. And <laughs> I'm just like, please. Please, game. Please. But hey, if that doesn't happen anymore, then we're good. She can live forever. Is Akane still in the shower? You just hear it the whole time? Hey, hey! Is it really true that there's a serial killer on this island? Can you- is the door paper thin? I'm starting to get pumped up! <laughs> Are they strong? I'll bet they're strong, huh? <sighs> I'm getting excited. They should come after me next time. Welcoming the killer with open arms. What the heck? I wonder who will next have a Sonic moment. <laughs> oh, a Sonic moment. Uh, you good? Hey, tell me what you know already. Did you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. You went into everyone's cottages? Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard. He did something shady again. I'm gonna go back to my bed and there's gonna be a dozen roses on the pillow. <sighs> but why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Thank you for the poster check. Enjoy your dinner. Nagito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look! <laughs> I trace your feet. I'm very normal. <laughs> Hajime is so sure he's the only normal one on this vacation for hyper people. <laughs> After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all of this. Those footprints? I see, so the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottage was... Yep. That's right, I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hiyoko Sayonji. Hiyoko's? Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. When did you sneak in? Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hyoko's footprints. The prince on the beach. Yay! Um. Nagito, you've been tied up for days. <laughs> also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at our cottage. Something interesting? See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. Th that's... Mm. The gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been uh, other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. <laughs> people are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What, what's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case, coming from this guy, that means... It probably greatly relates to the incident. Maybe he got out way earlier and did all of this but kept pretending to be tied up. This is what I was saying yesterday. I genuinely thought we were going to go into the dining hall and he was gonna like still be sat there, but like the rope would just be next to him. Like he'd just be vibing and being like, yeah, I'll stay here. But like he just, the, the rope was just in a pile. Gummy bag has been added to the truth bullet section. Damn, I meant to know who the, the killer is. The time for unparalleled 
hedonism has come to an end. Unparalleled hedonism. Come, now is the time to fight the decisive battle. The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Never was Big Ben so it. ominous. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. <sighs> Sadly, we won't be able to spend any more time together, Hajime. It's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. Alright. Now then, let's go prove it. <laughs> well, what's he so excited about? There's no, re There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we walked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mihiru's body. Bye, Mihiru. Bye. I always forgot how crazy he was. Thank God he reminded you. Uh, you know, so it's, you wouldn't want to forget. Among ourselves. <laughs> um, yeah, the trial was super long. So I think we might start it. Because I've only been streaming for under three hours. Nagito, are you going to freak out at the trial again or are you going to be well? I was going to say normal, but I'm not sure that applies. <laughs> are you going to be reasonable? Are you going to be less like yourself? I have forgotten where the thingy is. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll tell you right. I just looked up how many fan fictions. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, no. Never mind. It's just so many. Beautiful. No, let me go. Help me. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Why are you? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Stop it. Hey, stop harassing little girls. This is... What's going on? Sheesh. Oh my god, Nekamaru. Where have you been, bro? Probably pooping. Probably. Probably. He's been shitting. Hiyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma put her by force. But Hiyoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. Uh, hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you a part of this island's food chain. Jeez, making me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. <gasps> Where the heck is Fuyuhiku? <laughs> that guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my announce my announcement, my appointment. He pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Zanga <laughs> changed his form. Huh. I'm right here. Hi. Ah, Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. Huh. There's no way for me to run anyway, so I, no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still. Bastard! I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Why are you acting like you've already lost, bro? Well, it's all good. Oh, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway. Looks like everyone's here, so let us depart. See ya later. 
I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. This is bad. Crap, I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, do you even have to prepare? Show some spirit! If you don't have enough power, <laughs> you'll need an energy come bring out that energy. This too must be the will of causality. So it begins the beginning of the end. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. Yeah, that's right. I can only... Moving forward is the only option. <laughs> what are you dilly-dallying for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. <laughs> Listen! The truth behind Mahiro's death. Sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Okay. What the? Monica would change forms. Color me surprised. Hey, hey! Could he be the type to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? He's a stuffed animal, right? If you don't unleash your power here, where else will you The only one who will fetch me death. It's going well. I have nothing to do with this. Okay, we're all doing great. You're Damn. so evil. Thank you to one's died just then. No matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by a, f a feeling similar to dizziness. What muscles? <laughs> the moment all of us are inside Monokuma Rock. Nom, 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 a rumbling, oh my god, Hajime's anemic. Oh, what a mood. Me too, King. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. So many people draw Hajime really beefy. I, I don't mind people drawing characters very, very beefy. But I do find it very interesting that there's just like, I, I see it a lot with JJK art. Like JJK is just like Twink City. Like they are all these little bean poles and they're obviously like muscly, but they're not like, Hurr. Um, And then people are like, no, they must have muscle. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Look at that boy. He's not a triangle. He's just a little guy. It's Genshin fan art in a nutshell. <laughs> um, throughout that job, I was fluctuating between hope and despair, as if my heart was a rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I love poetry. Maki, see, yeah, like, Maki and Toji are the only ones, in my opinion, you can draw, like, ripped. That's it. I suddenly stopped breathing. Oh, well, that's bad for you. Don't do that. Oh my god, breathe, Hajime. He's gonna collapse. My consciousness began to fade. <laughs> Hajime. <laughs> We're losing him. <laughs> breathe. Did someone teach him how to breathe. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Blimey. Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So... I decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. That is... To go to the trouble of... Are there tennis balls in the background? Oh, are they coconuts? Sorry, not tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> to go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate. Really, what is your true intention? 
No, no! Nothing, really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. <sighs> kill time? Yeah! To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Like... A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. <laughs> and enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your heart. It's starting. The class trial is starting. <laughs> Mihiro Kazumi, the ultimate photographer. She has an un had she had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her is among us. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. That's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Because it's the only way! Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way! For us to survive. Any sus? I think the most sus are Fuyuhiku, Hyoko, and Nekomaru. Personally. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun! I don't know how much of the class trial will do, to be honest, but uh, we can start it. I got it all. The Kamari sus to end. It's only because he just what has it like we literally haven't seen him at all. Which doesn't look good. I thought I saw Nekromari vent, but he was probably opening a window after shitting. He's a respectful shitter. Which is very nice. I don't think we have any skills. Skillless. What lies with Monokuma's video guy game? Is it the truth or lies? What is the motive that ties the game and reality together? Where did the killer who's escaped from the beach house go? <laughs> There's no looking away from the hopeless memories reflected in the twilight. Thank you for the follow. Poor dude was in the bathroom, you know that, before he was juking out with Akane. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I take it back, Mikamaru. You're, you're innocent on... Now then, pooping. let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means 
Twilight Syndrome murder case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? <laughs> oh, Dekamaru, you're cute. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. The characters in the game were girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl E, and boy F. And my list, I've only got three of them written down. Oh no. <laughs> and the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. Not gonna lie, hearing Makoto's voice come out of Nagade's mouth is so uncanny. They sound so similar, but so different. They do. By using the staff roll, I was clearing the game as a reference. I should be able to figure out who's here. I don't remember whose surname is Santo. Ibuki? I think? Um. No, Ibuki Miyota. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. Uh, by using the stuff roll after clearing the game, the first character the player was able to control Skull A. <laughs> We're starting out strong. It's going really well. Well, it's either. It must be me, can't, right? Santo. <laughs> Girl A is probably Mikan Sumiki. <laughs> yep. That timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. I didn't get any voice acting in the video game. Based on the <laughs> list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? That's an infringement of my right to privacy. A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. As Gull B. Huh? She's right. I see. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Next is girl C. Girl C, huh? Her personality was hyper energetic and unique. That must be Ibuki. -E. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Do you know what that means? I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on to Girl D. <laughs> Chuck is just in shock. Girl D, let's me hear it. I see. Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip girl E and talk about But Gaia. I know who girl E is. I figured it out already. Have you not? Lol, imagine. He's guy F. I see. Aren't you guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. <laughs> I was in a game? <laughs> that's fucking stupid. <sighs> that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then Who the another hell is Kuzuryu. Sato? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Who are the people? 
people in this video game? <laughs> Who's Sato? Um, no one. Is that- oh is it Sato- is that Sato Kazuryu? But then there's two- Don't I- <laughs> Why do you keep like saying there were two Kuzuriyus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. <laughs> Any Sato's? <laughs> Mochek Sato? <laughs> Shio Sato Naoto? Samanaka? Chie? Come back! Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason for Yuhiku's last name, Kuzuriyu, Appears twice. It's true I have a hunch, but to call him out like that. Nagato, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason But I'm gonna do it anyway. It a little sister, right? It's just a bug. It's just a bug. It's just a bug. Oh, like a bug in the game. I thought they meant like a literal insect. Okay, I'm let's move on. I can prove it with <laughs> this. In the game, guy F. Kuzuriyu mentions that he has a little sister. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. That bitch! Oh. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuriyu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister? The other Kuzuryu play. You probably noticed, right? You are a whole problem, Sa. I, I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game I could see being Fuyuhuku's little sister is... The girl who died at the beginning. I see! The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game. Is the only person I can think of. That bitch! The bitch! Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. I'm glad we got that ramped up. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. <laughs> Bring that down. It's not just a game. <laughs> It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Pope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna <laughs> accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Seriously, everyone who has not played the game is just so... lost. They're screwed. Nagito. You seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you Mik suspect he's the killer? Mikon's been crying for about 10 straight minutes. She's been crying for about 10 straight days. I, I, I don't know when she isn't crying. A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. <laughs> anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan, 
Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Fun fact. My sister came into my room yesterday just as you mentioned breakups being hard when one person is tied up. Great moment for me. It's a conversation starter, I guess. I, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Thank you very much. 100 biddies. I'm very sorry. I'm very, I'm very, very sorry about that. That, that, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Could it be the same Miss Sato who likes white rice? <laughs> I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. She just said interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. What the heck? Is that wild connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Okay. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way. Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? Hey, at least we're not playing this one during the summer. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, that was... Like, when I played Danganronpa 1, there was a 40 degree heat wave in the UK. Uh, and I had to keep closing the windows because I could not take screaming about murder with my windows open and I couldn't do it and it was just too much and... <sighs> uh -oh. My! Such awful times we live in! Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends! So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? <laughs> Thanks, Kazuichi. Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why girl E was killed! Uh, the reason girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the content of the game. Because Gali witnessed the murder, Gali interfered with the murder, Gali was the killer, Gali was for you. Like, she was the killer, right? Like, it, it, it sounded like she killed her because she, because Fuyuhiku's sister bullied Gal D. I think. I see! Thank you for the follow. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. <gasps> what do you think, Fuyuhiko? <gasps> Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. I just realized there's actual sound in the class trial room now. That seems really annoying. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... But... It... Is it... Is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, <sighs> we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. We're talking, Naito, can you have feelings? Fear he could be all sweet and stuff. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look. I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Now you only cares about Hajime, so no, not the feelings you want. <laughs> mm. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. 
I made a map of the music room surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! <laughs> Let's talk about that later, so we can focus on the case. Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. Calm down. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girlie was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Yeah. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office! Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? I just realized this cross is a fork and knife. <laughs> Hi, Seal, how you doing? By the way, <laughs> since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then... forget this! <laughs> then forget what I said! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Okay. Hey! Is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet! Okay. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake the girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess you need to clear that up first. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls... heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? Well... Uh... She probably used a hidden passageway! <gasps> Ooh, I can agree and disagree. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Abuki. That's very kind of you. Um... 
What what girl E did after the murder in the music room? I need to find the clue that'll clarify that. See, I think um, after she killed the first victim in the music room, what did girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room. I think and just this works outside. for what Nekamaru says to like disagree so e that it was about the vase. The, to the front of the music room. To go I'm back to the sure. music room, from, you need to go through the entrance. Plus, at the end, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window. No, that's wrong. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. Jeez. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase. A vase? How low can you go? Are you saying breaking a vase is worse than murder? After the murder, <laughs> a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. It's fine. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. <laughs> Mika. It's just... <laughs> Girl E killed the victim in the music room, <laughs> broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. Sorry, what did you just say? Actually, the model was nearly finished by the time the four girls met. Gully killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, then went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room, returned the key, went back, broke the vase, vase. And then that's when they met? Damn, okay. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. I see. Now the mystery has been solved! Yay! Wait a minute! The oh. mystery hasn't been solved yet! You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet! Murder weapon? Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was! Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, <laughs> let's figure out the weapon! If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Oh, uh, great. Which means I'll feel disgusting. Okay. You're the disgusting one. <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. <laughs> the answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, the will fish you tank? guys be able to figure it out? Did they use a fish tank to kill her? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I'll have to do it. I'll do it! <laughs> what do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise and the non-stop debates. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. It won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer. But unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, yeah, yeah. Uh, it appears that the debate is getting tougher, so I've obtained some very useful information. I heard there's a guy named Gun something. Apparently, he has a skill that increases the power of the silencer. Gundam? Gun something. I wonder who it is. Was I out of line? Well then, good luck. Have fun. Bone on the meat. <laughs> On the meat bone. On the bone meat. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Stupid as Is usual. Is the cause of death a blow <laughs> to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. I think you might be right. It's too big to be a weapon. No. Then Not the if piano. you try hard. 
Why are you going even bigger? <laughs> the investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? <laughs> How about beating her with gravel instead? Even if you hit them with gravel, if isn't it's it a too weapon small? that was used to beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. Oh. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? I don't believe so. She beat her to death with her fist. Okay. An unconventional weapon. I think it must be the fish tank. Weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Oh. Ah. Um, what is the connection between what you're saying and attacking someone with a fish tank? No, I'm agreeing. Damn it! <laughs> a weapon inside the music room, huh? I miss so much. Glass? It's okay, the vault always exists. And, Isn't uh, the cause of death a blow and, to the and head? And you can see some now. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Wait, did I do the wrong thing? Did I do the broken the vase piano. and not the fish tank? Why are you going even bigger? The investigation can- It's on that biggest- How about beating her with- If it's a weapon that was- It should have had- Was there a weapon with- She beat her to death with her fist! Thank you, Bucky. I think I did. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the- Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Oh. Oh. Damn it! It's okay, don't worry about it. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she What's the victim's crying scene for there? Hmm. Mm. I want to see a Lord and Order up where the murder weapons are first time. I think it's a great weapon. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Thank you. Why are you going away. even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Looks like you've never beaten someone before. If you split someone's head in half, a surprising amount of blood shoots out, you know? So if you're gonna argue, use better reasoning than that. Maybe I should split your fucking head open. Damn it! I'm sorry, Hajime. I'm sorry. we inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. It was actually the fish in That's the tank. Too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. That makes sense. The goldfish went violent. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Wrong one. Sorry, we're doing big thinking. Big thinking. Big, big thinking. Whose crime are we talking about? What are we saying? Who killed who? Gully? A weapon inside the music room, huh? Whose murder are we talking about? What's happening? What I about can't. broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. It's under the table. In the piano. 
Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How many people How died? <laughs> Only death. one. But then two people died in a video game. And if then we also have to solve the video game before we solve the murder. It should have had blood stains. Was there it's... a weapon with blood stains? She beat her to death with her fists! It's a hoot. A weapon inside the music room. What about broken glass? But that's not a green. Damn it! Hadrami, we're gonna die in the I'm so room. sorry. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's not a green. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even the investigation? It's on that universal chaos. How about beating her with gravel instead? Oh wait, is it this? And then that's me. If it's a weapon that was used to beat. It should have no. had blood. Was there a right? Weapon with she beat her to no death way. with this. Because the gravel came out of the a fish tank. The is that what it's what about broken glass? saying? Isn't the cause of death? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be no. on the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation can. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? Okay, that's fine. I don't want that to be right. But what is right? <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Danny. How's it going? Oh, good seeing how to struggle too. I. <laughs> I swear the agreeing ones are harder than the disagree ones. <sighs> I'm so tired. Um, I should kill her by beating her with gravel. It would have obviously had blood Damn all over it. it. Sorry. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Is oh? Oh! <laughs> I'm guilty! No! I did it! It's me! Everyone doubts me? Ah! It appears the trial has come to an end. Now then, it's time to vote. No, can I have another chance, please, Monokuma? Because I think I have more time. I think I have more... I'm cool. No, I'm cool though. Have you considered that I'm the main character? Have you considered? This is my hour end? I'd love to retry. Thank you. We Thank you so much. Monokuma actually a good guy, for real. He always gives me a second chance. I can't- I don't know whose death we're talking about anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Boy. Everyone is what about like, broken glass? Wow, Jamie doesn't know about this video game. He must be the culprit. Okay. Probably. Ugh. Get him out of here. Thank you so freaking much for the 100 biddies and also for the six month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is very kind. You're a beautiful loopy to go on the beautiful tree whilst I cry. Thank you so much. <laughs> Gamer or murderer are your only options. Murderer it is. I don't know. I don't know. Do you mean this broken glass? Okay, I. Me, 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 me. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Thank you, Blinder. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, 
It should have had blood stains. Okay, that was a really stupid reasoning to be fair on my part. Damn it! The weapon inside the music room, huh? I want to say like it wouldn't what have had blood glass? stains because it would have like. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her well, with the my reasoning tank. was gonna be it wouldn't have blood stains That's because the glass be would be weapon. like on the other side of the like it would then be the, out yeah. the building if you like smashed her head against it. But maybe it wouldn't bigger? have blood stain on it because it was a fish tank and the water the got rid of the blood. Universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too. This is called logic. How and about it's beating her with gravel cool? instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. Well, the vase had water in it too. Damn it! Damn it! Imagine me hitting the top. I'm having a really bad room, huh? day. What about broken glass? I don't. I don't know. The head? I don't know. I don't know. With fish tank. I don't know. I don't. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts. I don't you. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you want. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's on that big a scale too? Uh, maybe. How about beating her with gravel instead? I don't know. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! <laughs> How firm is your grasp in reality? An unconventional weapon apparently appeared in the game. A weapon the inside the music room, huh? But like, it doesn't have blood on it. How would you beat someone to death with a freaking swimsuit? How would you do that? That's impossible. And she had her swimsuit stolen. That doesn't make sense. Does it? I don't... What about placing bets in Discord? How long this section will take? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. She put it's the gravel in the too? swimsuit. She tied the end of the swimsuit How about her with gravel the gravel. If it's a weapon and that was went used for to it. beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Okay, he's saying it should have had blood stains. Blood so I am arguing if I click she on him. Can you shush? I'm trying to think. So if if he says that he it has blood stains. If the weapon has blood stains, if I'm disagreeing with him, I'm saying that the weapon has no blood stains. Which I think everything I chose for that doesn't work. Um. What if the swimsuit was under the table? Have you thought about it? Like, really, have you thought about it? This isn't. I'm not even solving the real crime here. This is the fun. Pre-crime before the real crime. I... Um. It's not the fucking swimsuit. There's no. If there's a swimsuit, then I quit. Then I'm not playing the game anymore. I refuse. Um. Gravel and water were scattered everywhere. Like an appetizer, exactly. The 
a good forty speed. Um. But this probably wasn't the murder weapon because it was in the music room. So then to me it must be the fish. Unless it is the swimsuit. What's the inside one? the music room? Ah, uh, the victim cream. cream what about cream? broken glass? Crime scene. Photo. Isn't the cause of death the a blow to the head? Cream. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why Can we you please even get the bigger? fish on the witness stand? The investigation conducts universal chaos. They know it's something. It's on that bigger scale too. How about beating her with gravel instead? I don't agree with you. Isn't gravel too small? It is a bottle. Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> a, crap. a weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? I don't Damn know. it! I can't figure it out. I can't do a weapon it. inside the music room, huh? What the about the fish glass? The we need to get them back. Is there is a death trial of the head? going down? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The Let me speak to the bug. Universal chaos. There's a worm somewhere in it. It's on that scale <gasps> too. Nagito. <laughs> How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, no, it should have no, had no, blood no. stains. No, don't threaten me again, Fujiko. I'm just a Damn boy. It. I'm just a boy. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going I feel the like it's Sonya. I think it is the fish on, tank. If it's a weapon that was I don't know how the girl killed tank. someone was with a fish a tank, but... On it? She beat her to death with her fists! That's the only thing inside the music room. What about on. broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Okay. <sighs> Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even- The investigation- It's on that biggest scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon- Hajime is actually the fish. I'd like to attack this question with the piano. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. It's not irrelevant. It's too big to be a weapon. But it isn't. <laughs> then the piano. It's not. I feel like we Why should be spending this time bigger? on the actual crime. The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? <laughs> if it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Oh, no. 
<laughs> a weapon inside the music room, huh? Yeah. This is broken what about glass. broken glass? Yeah. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? I literally she have beat her to no death with her fist. Clear. Okay. We're gonna go we're gonna the weapon fish inside tank. the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Fuck you. Yeah, I know. How have I also got how do I uh Damn it? There we go. A weapon inside the music room. Yeah, what about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a thing she attacked her with the fish tank? That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? <laughs> a weapon inside the music room. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death thing she attacked her with? That's too big to. Then the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation. It's on that biggest. Uh, How about beating her with gravel? If it's a weapon that was used to beat, it should have had blood stain. Was there a weapon Okay, with it's blood on the fish tank. She beat her to death with her fist. Madachi, where are you? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> A weapon inside the music room, huh? You know, I was what like. What about broken glass? Damn, I'll just like play to like. Isn't the cause of death I solved, a blow to the head? like this bit of the game. Then she like the, her with the just this tank. game within the game. That's too I'll just stream to that and then I'll and then I can have like a little nap. Then the piano. I can have some dinner. Why have are a good you going evening. Even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. <laughs> it's on that big a scale too. <laughs> wow. How about beating her with <laughs> If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists. <sighs> this is the trial that turned Hajime into Adachi. Honestly, yes. This is the moment it happened. A weapon inside the music room, huh? <laughs> What about broken glass? Beautiful. Thank you so much. This is smack dab in the heart of Tokyo. Thank you. I, that's very kind. I you really shouldn't because I'm, there's badly content happening right now. Thank you so much, Celery, for the prime. Thank you so very much. That's very, very, very sweet. I hope you enjoy all the emotes. You're also now a beautiful loopy. Barely content. Nah. nah. Okay. I'm ready to think really hard. Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? So I'm agreeing with that. How? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Yes. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Fuck it, it's swimsuit time. Then the piano. The swimsuit did it. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation. The swimsuit it's on did that it. Big a scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? The swimsuit did it. If it's a weapon it. that was used, to, it should have had blood stains. The swimsuit did it for you, Hiko. The silly goose. You've never known anything in your life. A weapon inside the music room, huh? Yeah. What about broken glass? No, swimsuit. Fuck you. Damn it! 
A weapon inside the muse. What about broken glass? Swim Isn't the cause of death a blow to the- Then she attacked her with the fish. She went swimming with the fish. Damn. Fuck you. A weapon inside the music room, huh? <laughs> what shooting. about broken glass? Adrino. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's no. too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. No. Why are you going even? No. Investigation can. It's on that big the time scale is ticking too. Down. How about beating her with gravel? And I agree with that. Are you fucking joking? I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? So when I said she fucking put gravel in her fucking swimsuit <laughs> as a joke! <laughs> oh! You really didn't think of that? I literally said it out loud, but I thought it was so stupid that there was no way it could be real. <laughs> okay, Apollo is not yet away from my brain. Hades 2 hasn't been released yet. Until then, it will be. It will be. <laughs> Let me just say this. You're a dumbass. Thank you very much for the 350 bits. Hannah, you traumatized you. <laughs> you did it in 26 minutes. The highest bet was 20. Well, exceeding in expectations. Goodness, I got it right, and I was just throwing things out there. Just like they were throwing gravel, I guess. <laughs> just as I thought, I'm chosen by the gods. You're not chosen at all, and gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? A bag? What kind of bag? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the back. And the only thing I can think of is the school Let swimsuit. Me just say this. You're a dumbass. I can't wait for Hannah to play Hades 2 with actual Apollo in it and see what happens. I'll finally be free. I'll finally be free. Thank you very much for the 350 biddies. You'll never be free, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> if you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. It would make an effective weapon. It would make an effective weapon. I am in agony. Hashemi has been to prison. You should go to prison for thinking like this. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! Phoenix Wright is canonically real alongside Paris Hilton in Danganronpa 2? Dear Lord. But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only 
producers know this feeling of ecstasy. I hate you. But the real important talk begins now. Heck yeah. Prime real estate much? Place is smack dab in the heart of Tokyo. Honestly, even thinking of this scenario as a joke is kind of impressive. It's so silly. You're not wrong. I mean, and they know what they're doing, because, like, Monokuma is like, ah, the producers are so happy to see it solved. Like, it's exactly... They fiend. This is Yoko Taro for the detective visual novel genre. <sighs> Thank you so, so, so much, Slasha Bunny, for the five months. Thank you. Welcome back. It is lovely to have you. Thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you. <laughs> Friends, comrades, detectives. This is making me very excited for when he plays Zero Escape one day. That has made me not <laughs> excited. <laughs> now I'm terrified to play Zero Escape. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Um, We're gonna end there for today. I can't go on. I, I just, I can't do it. I. I'm gonna have to think about this swimsuit for the next however many hours until the next stream. I can't, I, I can't do it. I simply cannot go on. I have to move on first. I have a gift. I'm very excited. Um, Our brains come from off the ends of the earth. That is so funny. I love that sort of thing. Like uh, escape rooms and such with people who just don't think of you, uh, think of you, think of you in the same way as you. It's just like an absolute nightmare. Um, uh, uh, um, Megan, this is so good. Friends, I have I have a gift for us all. We might have a new emote. I don't know what emote we're getting rid of, but we might have one. Hold on. This is incredible. This is beautiful. I'm on it. Oh, it's me looking at this game. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's true. He can retire. He can. Finally, the mods can tie Nari gun. <laughs> Hannah summoning Saturn out true. Saturn out. The death set matches yours. It came from my, my soul. Thank you so much, Megan. Call it Louise's swimsuit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's stream. I, you'll have a new emote in your pockets very, very soon. Um, uh, okay, so tomorrow, actually, there's going to be a slightly different plan. Um, the plan is, is to play Final Fantasy XIV. I'm currently in Shadowbringers. Um, and I, I said I would stream the next little chunk. But I don't know how long that's going to take. So basically, um, it is going to be a 14 stream. And depending how long that takes, there'll be a second stream of Danganronpa. Uh, unless the first stream goes on forever. 
You got, you got me, you got, you got, that's the plan, that's the strat, that's the idea. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and then next week there might be an extra stream as well. So it's going to be busy, 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 busy. You're finishing Shadow Rings tomorrow? Absolutely not. Um... <laughs> Thank you all. Please feel free to join the Discord. If you didn't know, the Discord has a spoiler chat where apparently they take bets on how long it takes me to solve bullet time battles. <laughs> um, or true bullet, whatever this thing is called. Um, thank you all so freaking much. I'll see you all in the Discord or on Twitter or whatever. And uh, oh, also I put I, I did a new YouTube video last night. If you want to follow that um that was just like a little reaction video if anyone's interested um that's it i'll see you all tomorrow <gasps> Bye bye